all right guys hello this is holly rocks and tonight's feature is the after school special have you ever been ashamed of your parents this is from 1983 i sort of remember this because i was let's see i was nine yeah i think i was nine years old when this came out so i'm sure i watched this you know, because my mom was always trying to get me to, uh, you know, watch my, hang on, hang on, I accidentally, I accidentally hit something, okay. Oh, look at these fiery suckers. Three months, nothing to do but work on my hair. Three months, my stuff looks as three weeks. Oh, oh, we're going up to see you at the end of the month. Oh, I got a letter from my cousin Brenda yesterday. I thought you spent a week in a fabric cover. You never have to worry about your chance for it. Well, Brenda was never throwing a party before. At least not like this one. That's a horrible picture. Oh, cool. I can draw on the screen. Well, Great. Now it looks like I drew on my computer screen. Hang on. Can I erase it? Have you ever been ashamed of your parents? Yeah. Yes. All four of them. Well, actually, three of three of the four, because my stepmom's pretty freaking amazing. Come on, I'm trying to erase this. There we go. Well, it's good to know that I can draw on the screen while I'm recording. For whatever reason, I might need to. I can't remember what the mom is from. She's from something. You're gonna be a cook. Uh, okay. Servants have to use the back stair. I'm so, I'm so glad people really aren't like. I, I mean, I'm hoping that people are not like that. See, like people never really knew what I was, whether I was poor, whether I was rich, because I didn't tell them. Yeah, I 
Okay, it looks like a really shitty music bar. Bush Gardens in Pennsylvania. Right, bitch. Yeah, don't be so fucking snobby. Everybody works for somebody. And whether you're a cook or a law professor or an acrobat, you're still you. May I have your attention, please? Now loading inside the line, door one, the double doors for Ashton, Dorsted, Seaview, Harris, and Deepson. Behind door one, the double doors. All aboard. Sweetheart. Oh, look at this. That's when the Greyhound bus was like, nice guys. Now he might die. Seriously, it's extremely scary. Except actually now, during the pandemic, because nobody wants to ride the bus, they're too afraid. I rode the bus a few months ago. Actually in the summer. to have a station wagon like that dude like you know back in the day families I'm sure loved it kids loathed it I think it'd be cool to do a cool conversion on one I wouldn't leave it like 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 that I would make it all pimp my ride Oh my gosh, look who it is. It's a chick from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. The Tramp. Yes, I can. 
guest bedroom. And this is one of the guest bedrooms. We only use this for company. And that's the attic. And that's the study. You can put your stuff down here if you want. She's like, damn. This is every mystery ever written. Do you like mysteries? Are you kidding? I go crazy waiting for the newest ones to come out in paperback. Oh, who can wait? I always buy the hardcovers as soon as they're out. Really? Yeah, I'm halfway through one right now if you want to borrow it when I'm done. No, thanks. I brought a few books of my own to read. Oh, God. Okay. I better help my mom. Well, you should, because you're a fucking snotty-ass kid. I wish that you would just try to adjust to everything a little bit better, instead of walking around here with a chip on your shoulder attitude. Yeah, because hey, you don't want your mom to work. Mom, Andrea. Mom, you should have seen the way she was talking about all her precious books yesterday. You know, you know, she's probably nervous after all you two just met each other. Anyways, you know, give yourself a little time. You might find you've got a lot in common. Get along really well. Have a nice summer. I better go. I'm gonna miss the bus. I'll see you later. shade of violet. I mean, you like to keep up with the latest looks. Don't you? Yeah. My mom's got tons of stuff at home, so I want it. <coughs> I just came in to get some place cards for dinner party tonight. The car's here. Do you want to ride home? Thanks, but uh, we're all going to the beach. Oh. Okay. <coughs> 
I backtrack a little bit for the part two of this. They're hanging out, and then all of a sudden, the rich girl comes in. Actually, it's a new shade of violet. I mean, you like to keep up with the latest looks. Wait, wait, what the fuck did I just do? Don't you? Yeah, my mom's got tons of stuff at home, so I want it. I just came in to get some place cards for the dinner party tonight. The car's here. Do you want to ride home? Thanks, but uh, we're all going to the beach. Oh. Well, I'll see you later then. See, I don't know why they did that. That's just rude. Forget about it. Come on, let's go to the beach. Okay, but I can't stay too long. Why? The Queen of England's coming for tea, and I promised Mummy I'd be home in time for sir. <laughs> the fucking soundtrack for this movie. She's dressed like the maid. Like that girl's gonna be out there at the beach with all those white girls. Come on now. She's gonna burn like a motherfucker.
Why don't you borrow something for Miss Best dressed and <laughs> I mean, fucking I jealous. Jealous. I'm not Andrew Fairchild's servant. She didn't really mean you, Fran. She only met your mother. Oh, that's even Fairchild, better. Your mother works for the Fairchilds as an employee, not a servant. Oh, okay, an employee. What's the big deal? I mean, it's the same difference anyway, right? No, it's not. And if you think it is, you're a lot dumber than I ever thought you were. Oh, yeah? Well, if you think I'm so dumb, maybe you shouldn't come to my dumb old party and surround yourself with all my dumb old friends. In fact, maybe you'd be happier hanging around old stuck-up Andrea. Whoa. Well, maybe I would. Suit yourself. Mm-hmm. Step in line, bitches. <coughs> Bunch of freaking followers. Kids, always remember to choose your own fucking friends. God, don't kiss anybody's ass to go to a party. Who fucking cares? You won't remember the party ten years from now. And in this case, 80, 90, oh God, like 30 years, 40 years, 40 years ago? This movie is 40 fucking years ago? Just pretend you're poor. <laughs> Picture everybody nude. <laughs> Forget it. These people could carry it off. <laughs> and I mean, wow, that's actually really good. Little backflip. I love her. I think that's the chick from Facts of Life. She played Joe. Don't invite her. 
Damn, you're a heartless bitch. She invites you to the club, but you can't invite her to go get pizza. Who can predict the way this is gonna end? One girl envies the other. She's going to hear her talking about her. Or not. Because now she's a pariah. Okay.